Welcome to the cab controls video for the HD 785-8. The purpose of this video is to view some of the cab operated controls and circuits in more detail to provide a better understanding and maximize machine utilization. First, let's address the bed dump lever. The dump lever has four positions. All the way up is bed lift. The hold position is activated by releasing the handle. In the hold position, the lock pin can be turned to engage the lever. This lock pin is only for locking the handle in the hold position. Never get under the bed without the bed lock pins installed. Pushing down on the handle to the detent position is the float position. If the lever is not in the float position or if the bed is not seated, the float light will come on and the truck will not go into reverse or out of first gear in forward depending on the direction selected. The last of the four positions is the bed power down. It's the bottom position. Next, we will discuss the manual retarder control lever. Using the manual retarder control lever, the operator physically pulls the handle down when descending a hill to slow or stop the truck. The further the handle is pulled down, the more aggressive the retarder application is applied. Anytime the retarder lever is applied, the retarder pilot light illuminates. You never want to use the manual retarder lever as a parking brake. Remember to always apply the parking brake when exiting the truck. Let's move on to the ARSC lever which is below the manual retarder control lever. The ARSC stands for Automatic Retarder Speed Control. This is a feature that when enabled and set, will automatically apply the retarder to keep the truck at or below the set speed. When the system is enabled, the travel speed indicator will show two dashes. When driving the truck at the desired downhill speed, press the end of the lever to populate the speed indicator. The system will memorize the setting. If the set speed on the indicator needs to be adjusted, raise the handle to increase, and push down to decrease. To cancel the speed altogether, pull the lever to you for at least two seconds. When descending the hill, there are two parameters that must be met for the system to work correctly. The operator must be off the throttle and the truck speed needs to be at or below the set retarder speed. When this happens, the ARSC ready light will illuminate. If the weight of the load increases the truck speed over the set parameters, the ARSC will proportionately apply the retarder so the truck does not exceed the set speed. The last system to be discussed is ComVision. ComVision is a system that uses a series of cameras mounted on the truck to give the operator a better all-around view to aid in collision avoidance. As mentioned prior, in the cab is a ComVision monitor and control switches. The monitor has a brightness adjustment switch directly in front of it. Pushing the switch to the minus will darken the image, while pressing it to plus will brighten the image. The ComVision control switches from left to right are as follows. The screen mode selector switch. Toggling through this switch changes the mode of the ComVision monitor. You can choose from one window, two window, or non-display mode. The next switches are the left front and the left rear camera selector switch. The front camera and rear camera selector switch and the right front and right rear camera selector switch. By selecting any of these switches, the ComVision monitor will display the corresponding camera image. Under the control switches is the ComVision system indicator lamp. This lamp will either be lit, flashing, or off to indicate the operation state of the ComVision system. This concludes the cab controls video for the HD 785-8 rigid frame haul truck. For more information, please refer to the operation and maintenance manual or contact your local distributor. You may also visit us at www.kamatsuamerica.com. Thank you for choosing Kamatsu products.